Ifo muntu nga lipongwe kukwita na mbuwa likuwa tishenda la mkukwita tuwa kukonotesha. So tuwa kukwita tisa hondo lorefo wa ibile he, puroti ya wantu na maya ndawa shitire, wanaisa na wantu chisita ngomu. Kusha, isawe tukwitushu. Mureti na yo, yo, kaisi ni uka mula na mbuwa, pomu, mwishimila nisa. Kupu ibila wala nda, kwa pokolo na mbuwa. Every individual suspected to have committed a crime should be answerable to the law enforcement institutions without any interference. We all know that uh, in our country no one is above the law and the law enforcement organizations should be respected by all citizens so inspector general you know what you need to do and you know what you do best for the country activate your troops and make them ready to deal with any non-law abiding citizen who wants to take Law their Former Home Affairs Minister Stephen Kampiongo has safely arrived in Chinsali District for his formal charge and arrest for the offence of endangering safety contrary to the Civil Aviation Safety Act. More details in the following report. He arrived at Chinsali Central Police Station safely from Lusaka for his formal charge and arrest. Former Home Affairs Minister Stephen Campiongo, who was summoned by police on alleged endangerment of safety of an aircraft and its passengers, was received with emotional remorse by the Patriotic Front PF members. The Shuangando lawmaker, who recently beat his election petition case, was cautioned with the offense of endangering safety contrary to Section 8F, Cap 445 of the Civil Aviation Safety Act of the Laws of Zambia. Mr. Kampiongo, who arrived at Chinsali Central Police Station at exactly 13.53 hours, is detained at the police station while waiting for his lawyers. Particulars of the offense are that Kampiongo, whilst acting together with others, allegedly endangered the safety of an aircraft and its passengers at Kalala Ntweke School Grounds in Shuangandu District on the 2nd of January 2015. Henry Lompajonia, Zanis, in Chinsali, must not be subjected to uh, questions from the members of the public. I'm the former Minister of Home Affairs. I don't mind being arrested if I'm found wrong. It would have even been the same sitting in the office as a citizen. If I broke the law, I was to be visited by the law. But what shouldn't be seen is to the, 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 um, this perception of saying they can only visit certain people when they are no longer in authority. And how do you act on those people. I'm not just an ordinary citizen. I, I, I'm not a superhuman. But when, I'm, when I was privileged to be with Home Affairs, I would die as such. And then I have respected my predecessors that who had been um, in that ministry and I was consulting them from time to time. And so the presidents we set sometimes um, must be weight on the scale. Yes, you can eliminate computers, you know, but you shouldn't know the office that was holding. When it was the government, the Minister of Defense, as well, very critical ministry, is a human being, not above the law. But when you look at the responsibilities he carried, when he was um, um, uh, supervising that ministry, you have to weigh the actions you take. Um, against them. But like I've said, we are valuable to answer for any allegations that we label against us. But we just want to be treated with dignity.